Hey y'all. It's sunshine. It's gonna be one of those videos where I'm frustrated. So if you don't hand can't handle watching stuff like that, then I have no problem with you clicking off. But I figure there's something so I'm not the only one out there that's going through this. Um I'm having a hard time finding something I really love to stitch. I thought Ghastly Greetings Satsuma Street would be it for me because it's so colorful. So many, and a lot of confetti that I didn't understand before now. Um, that's why my pattern is a little different than the original. But. Y'all, I'm not, I'm not in love with this. And I hate that. I can't seem to find what I love. And it's aggravating me. And I shouldn't push it. I know that. But it's like, dang it, I'm spending money on this stuff. And it's just not what I want. And I don't know if it's because it's black fabric. Which is super hard to see. Um, I'm using a white towel underneath and then if you've got a light sensitivity don't look don't look but I have one of these odd lights that goes up really high like I'm only on the first one see what I'm saying it goes up really high so it's not that it's just sorry it's sensitive. It, you touch it wrong. Like a typical man. Anyway. um, It's just frustrating guys. And I don't know what to do. Um, I've got one more new start. That I can try. And it's. A plum pudding. By Glendon Place. Now, y'all remember I already did a Glendon Place once, and I loved it. It was the 80s colors. It was the... It was the Jewel Tones. And I really enjoyed that piece. I really did. So, um... I don't know what the answer is. Oh, I wish y'all could see Miss Becky's. I know she told me I could share it, but it's on the phone, and I can't share you the phone. But Miss Becky's on page five or six, and her pandemic looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. And I'm thinking I might try to get pandemic another try. I don't know, guys. I don't know what the answer is. I kind of want to give up cross stitching for a while just because nothing's working out and I hate it you know I don't I might be burnt out I might be I don't know I can't crochet right now because it's hotter than two rats screwing in a wool sock and uh, I have the air conditioner running but I had to turn it off for the video so I just have a fan running but even then, it's too hot. I'm going to have to wait till I go to the nursing home to crochet. Because it'll be cool in there, I think. So, and, and for those that don't know, I'm having knee surgery August the 30th. And I will be going to long-term care. So, that's why I'm going to a nursing home. It's te Well, it could be a rehab nursing home, technically. But, it's long-term care. And, uh... And I'm on new meds that are helping calm me down, but it makes me sleepy. So there's going to be a lot of yawns. But anyway, back to the the bread and butter of this pool crap is, is, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Um, I kind of maybe thinking about getting some murky gray fabric and... doing some Chris, uh, Halloween ornaments because I just got a pattern um, the other day it was a ton of ornaments for a dollar something 
and um, but I got to looking at those and they're nothing but a ton of backstitch I mean a ton of backstitch I don't have patience for that so I don't know I really all I really want to do y'all I'm not even joking is I want to sew I just want to sew and be in my own world and sew but I don't know what to make because I everything I make is so simple because it's I can't do intricate stuff I just don't have the patience for the intricate stuff and I don't want to really do crumb blocks so I don't know what my solution is uh, maybe I should work on my hexagons I could work on my hexagon quilt I'm putting the hexagons flowers on muslin and then I'm gonna put them all together but I I just don't know guys I just I think I'm gonna I, I got the, uh, the plum pudding I got the fabric and I've got the all the floss it's done in purples my favorite colors I love my purple and I'll go find a frame that'll fit an 18 by 21 piece of fabric I got this off of one two three stitch and uh, I told him I wanted it I wanted it um, what's that word guys come on surged I wanted it surged so they did that so that's all ready to go but I just I don't know what the answer is and I, and I know y'all are like come on sunshine get over with this video I know I know but I'm just frustrated I don't understand why I can't find something that just says that I just enjoy that I just love I want to pick up a piece and go oh I can't wait to start that today or I can't wait to work on that today I'm not feeling any of that folks and I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I maybe I'm trying too hard maybe that's the problem is I'm trying too hard I don't know I don't know and I I know this is going to be gross. Just just don't look. Uh, that's happening too. My nose is running. Um, I tried. I, I know I should be more organized with this. I think it's this one. No. Anyway, I um, even tried... this one I'm oh, sorry guys I'm so sorry the embroidery one um this come on why is it stuck to everything this table runner I tried working on that No, it's not doing it for me either. So, I just don't know what to do. You know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not getting rid of any of these projects. Because I think in due time, that I'll eventually go back to them. But for now, I have no desire. And it sucks. It really sucks. I may even try to work on my five foot tall peacock latch hook. I may try to work on that maybe. I don't know. I really, I just want to sew. 
Maybe I need to make that happen. I've got plenty of fabric type stuff between Miss Janice and other people that have sent some throughout the years. I've got plenty of fabric. I just don't know what to do. Well, none of it matches to begin with because I don't have any like yardage. I just have fat quarters and stuff like that. But um, think about making another scrap blanket, maybe. I don't know. And Miss Becky says she's going to talk to her in laws about maybe seeing how much they would charge me to get Cody's blanket finished. Um, which would be fantastic. Because uh, I would love to put it in the hands of somebody that I know. Well, I don't know her, but I know Becky. And Becky's never gonna. Becky has never steered me wrong. Um, Becky is like one of my little angels, and it's friends like her I'm so thankful for. And I know if I were to call her right now and talk to her about this, she would, she would have answers for me. So I may need to do that. But anyway, guys, I'm I'm sorry this video's so long, but I just I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's going on I don't know if this new meds is brain fogging me and I just don't know but it is what it is so I will let you go and so sorry it's this long but some of y'all don't care if it's long some of y'all just do dishes and listen to me and that's fantastic I mean hell I don't care you don't have to watch because I never have anything to show <laughs> so y'all take care